Oh, hi. So today I'm at Gag... <laughs> No, I'm gonna get this right. The Gakage Daigaku Station, and I am here to find a shrine because that's what this thing is all about. So let's go have a discover and explore. I've got the Google map and I've been searching. So this is where we're gonna go today and find some things. It's a beautiful sunny day, and let's go find a shrine. As you enter a shrine, usually you cleanse yourself, but um, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that when there's netting over it. <laughs> so I can't really do the cleansing this time around. It seems like most of this shrine is actually under construction. I mean, there's like a tap over there. <laughs> the actual Inari statues uh, look pretty cool though. So you got one on a bar, which is the dude, and you got the lady one. It's looking very aggressive, but she's feeding. Probably she's all like, get away from my kid. Arr, arr, arr. But um, I do like the stone walling around the outside. That's actually really cool. But this is old, man. This is really old. Um, I'm gonna guess that somebody actually lives here. So I'm gonna try not to yell as much. Sadly, there isn't really much to the shrine, but it still is like the smaller shrines. There is a lot of simple characteristics like the Inadi that are individual to the shrine. So let's see if we can do a two for one here. I can see that there is a shrine close by, so I'm going to try and drop by that to make this a longer episode. If not, hey, this is going to be a short one. Hey. So I did it. We got a two for one shrine today, which is also a very tiny shrine. It's actually in between two buildings right there. <laughs> This is what I mean when you have like the modern buildings and you get the traditional just wedged down the side. It's crazy. This is Shimizu Inari Shrine and it has this um, little, little crayfish guy hanging outside. Um, it's tiny, uh, but once again, the details are what matter with this. And this is very red and it's very, it's a lot of luck going on here. So let's go take a look at the details that make this shrine pretty. And despite the small space, they still managed to fit tree and tree. Good job, Japan, for fitting trees in whenever you can. <laughs> so there you have it, two for one Inari shrines today. And there's one in them, and there's one hiding out over there. Small, but once again, these smaller shrines have so much character, and this is just so, it's been refurbished over the years, but this is looking fantastic. They've used the space, as Tokyo does so well, they just use the space to the ultimate when it comes to places like this. So come check it out. This is more close to Utenji Station, uh, but it's about 10 minutes walk. So come check them out. I'll put all the links and stuff below if I can find them. Sometimes with these smaller shrines, there are no links because they just don't have any websites for them. Uh, but I will do my best to give you information. Noisy truck, yay!